Was du mit Backel, ich du bitte nicht aus das. To everyone, hi, Coach Fausto, back again in the solitude of the cave. And from the cave, you're gonna train the arms, you're gonna make them grow. Biceps and triceps. You're gonna start from the triceps, being a, a bigger muscle group. On the flexion of my triceps, I will promote the full extension of my biceps, so they will be fully engaged. By the time we hit them, I wanna hit them hard. I wanna put about 15 sets for the triceps and 12 for the biceps, but let's stop talking about this and let's roll the tape. Cheers. This one, this one, and this one. And here's the first exercise. What's gonna be the first exercise? What do you think it's gonna be? Of course, triceps cable pull down. That's an excellent way to fully engage the, the muscles of the triceps and to warm up your tendons. They have to regain some elasticity because now they get fragile and they break. We don't need that to happen. We need it to function. So let's go for the first set. It's kind of slow tempo and making sure that you engage your full triceps. And then you extend the full triceps also, no? And remember one thing, on the full flexing of the triceps, I'm extending my biceps. So also it's been engaged on the exercise. In, in another way, but still engaged. Oh. They have been warmed up, so now it's time to warm them up. And first set, I'm trying to keep my arm as vertical as possible. I'm trying not to move a lot. I'm trying to use the full range this time, eh? On, on this training, uh, five, six, three, four, and five, and time. And now we go with the second exercise of which we're gonna put five sets, um, and this is gonna be kind of a super set because we're gonna do um, 12, Skull crushers are called nowadays, back in the days in my country, we used to call them um, French style triceps. And uh, together with a, with a press to the chest. That will totally obliterate my already tired triceps, but we like them to be tired on pumped. Over we go. So. First set. Of this exercise. So fifth super set of these school crushers or triceps French style, like we say in Argentina. Plus ah, triceps press. Six. This is the last exercise, and this is one of the best, if not the best, exercise that you can possibly do for growing your triceps. Then one thing, when you go overhead, you fully engage the third and biggest head of the tricep, which we can't really see here. We can see one, the other, and the third will be under here, underneath. You will fully engage that thing when your elbow goes overhead. Now that thing will work from somewhere here to the end on the elbow. And this will be the exercise. I'm gonna put five sets of this thing. And now we go for the first set. And one. And now, after doing the triceps and having the biceps fully engaged to the permanent extension of them, you wanna give you the secret of the growth of the biceps. There's a secret technique that we don't like really to say, but I will be, I will be an asshole and I will say it. And here it is. You will develop the biceps that you deserve. So you go up, turn, down. Up, turn, and down. And then up, up. You see my grip is pronated, fully pronated. And then I go half pronated. And I put another eight reps, and then go full pronated. I come half pronated. There you go. And here's the secret technique. If you never do this, if you never did this, let me tell you one thing. 
about the secret. <sighs> so basically, if you haven't heard of this technique or you haven't done it, please. Focus on you never do it, but get this stupid technique just doesn't doesn't work. You you'll never get it right. No. You get the point. It just doesn't work. So you got the point. That just doesn't work. In order to make the biceps work and fully engage, you have to supinate the hand. The biceps main task will be to fully supinate the hand. You see how much engages just by twisting. Yeah, like so we like so much the straight bar because it will keep your hand fully supinated. And with a bell like this, you make sure that there's not a lot of a, a, a what's it called? A deviation of the extra, they are not pull you strange pull or whatever. So, and this is the main reason why we like so much this bar. It helped me to fully supinate my hand, and of course the belt helped me to get a really strict rep. So let's put twenty of these: seven, eight, nine. And 10, and 10, 20. And here we have an excellent way to develop our biceps. It's an exercise that I rarely see done if I ever see it. And I don't know why. So it's a machine still, but it's not a fixed machine. The cable has some lateral movement and it's not a free weight neither. Um, so it's going to be different. Um, my biceps, our biceps are already very tired. So this is going to take the rest out of them. Let's get it done. And I want to take the supinated grip, not the pronated grip, eh? No! <laughs> Remember, I can get pissed off with that, eh? So now, you know, who cares? So now, and... <sighs> really, that is burning like crazy! Oh, keep it. Oh. oh, man. Nice. And off we go with the last exercise for the biceps. And we're going to use this bench. But we're not, we won't lean with the arm on the bench. We're going to use this for locking the elbow on one, my arm in one position. I mean the elbow forward, so my arm won't be swinging around. That will put all the stress on my bicep without strain leveraging, putting something under, like in the scott bench. And it, sometimes it can provoke the, the accident of the bicipital tendon, what I've seen happening many times. And if you check YouTube and Instagram, you will find it also. But let's get it done and um, let's get it started. <sighs> with a good supination. Eh? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and change. Oh my, that was the session. My trices are there, my biceps are there. Remember to, in the first sets or so, the warm up sets that we like to call them, um, go slow tempo, use the full range of motion. Push the full range of motion, push the full range of motion in both on the biceps and on uh, the triceps. That will give the elasticity or regain the elasticity that the tendon needs in order to be strong. A elastic tendon is a strong tendon. A, tendon. Um, a fragile tendon will be a stiff tendon. And then you will be prone to bicipital tendon injury or tricep tendon, which I had both of them. But you won't have them. You know why? Because you have coach Fausto, who I didn't have. No, I had a great coach. Nevertheless, I didn't pay attention to him, and that would happen. Hopefully, this video will help you to a big extent, if not to the huge extent. Remember the three things, like, share, and subscribe, and stay attentive for the next video, because we want to try to help you to those who need um, this kind of help with the nutrition after New Year's and Xmas parties because we do eat a lot and we do drink a lot and then we eat again and then we drink again and then we eat again. And then we eat again. So then one cheers. <laughs>